Explain to me, as a Democrat, what role do you have in this? Because the Senate, the Senate seems to be running this as a Republican operation right now. It is unfortunate because if you think about the 86 tax bill and you look at the history that it went through, it was a very long process in which a proposal was looked at and reviewed by many people, adjustments made. So there was a lot of buy-in, a lot of faith. I was listening to some of uh, your show earlier today in which people were saying even if they did get something passed, it would probably get repealed in the future. So what you really want out of tax policy is predictability and uh, this legislation they're rushing through and I think it's not going to lead to that kind of predictability. How concerned are the Democrats right now that uh, tax reform will happen this year without you? What's the mood among your colleagues and yourself? Well, right now I'm more worried about a couple of very big issues for my state. One, obviously we are a very different state with no income tax and so getting rid of our ability to deduct our sales tax, our property tax, our mortgage interest is an increase in taxes on middle class families. and. I don't think they want to see that. I don't think that was their idea about corporate tax reform. A lot of the early discussion was close corporate loopholes and lower the rate. Well, now it's change the policies on deductions for middle class families and increase their taxes to give that corporate rate reduction. So that's one. And second, the uh, the uh, property, the basically bonds that allow us to finance affordable housing. They're taking away the tax structure there. And that will cause cities and states to be unable to finance major affordable housing projects as soon as January. And that's very problematic for us in the Northwest, mm. where we need a lot of housing. You've, in fact, uh, been working with Senator Orrin Hatch on affordable housing tax credit. So how does this fit into the broader framework of tax reform? Well, those uh, opportunity bonds that allow us to finance affordable housing, they think it could curtail hundreds of thousands of units next, starting in January, if this provision stays in the Senate bill. So what we want, I'm sorry, in the House bill, it's not in the Senate bill, in the House bill. So what we'd rather see instead is more incentive for affordable housing with what's called the low income housing tax credit and we have a lot of good bipartisan support for that hopefully we can get our colleagues to consider that but right now what we need to do is make sure that we're just not raising taxes on middle class families so, so senator whether it's affordable housing or in other areas are there specific issues maybe even narrow issues where you can pick off some republican counterparts and really change this bill or basically as a democrat do you have to sit back and take it as it is and have the consequences fall where they may well i think right now the big challenge is since the house and senate seem to be in this fight over these uh, state and local deductions and since it is a big source of revenue for the bill it is a big question of where can you go if states like mine uh, that don't have an income tax and don't want to see any more increase in the cost of home affordability. If we don't like the majority of the way they funded this bill, uh, what can we look at for the future? I think that is the big question. And right now, the House and Senate seem to be arguing over the two different versions of that. And uh, we'll see how they manage that in the House over the next couple of days. How close an eye are you keeping on the Alabama Senate race that's happening next month? Uh, given uh, the problems that Judge uh, Roy Moore is facing right now, are you looking forward to a Democratic senator uh, joining your ranks? Or are you also worried that you might lose a Democratic senator of New Jersey, Bob Menendez, given the ongoing corruption trial? Do you have a backup plan? What are you guys looking at? Well, I think right now what we're doing is trying to understand what our Senate colleagues are going to do in the Roy Moore case. And I'll be listening to what happens there and any other proceedings that are going on and holding our, our colleagues accountable. So, Senator, we've been talking about issues and substance here, but politics can never be very far away from this. There is an off-year election coming up next year, whether it's for all the House of Representatives or for a third of the Senate. How do you expect this tax reform to be positioned? Let's assume actually something comes, becomes enacted. How will it play politically in the country? Well, I just would say to our Republican colleagues who, if they think, oh my gosh, you know, we lost in last Tuesday's elections, we have to hurry. I don't think that 
we want to see a bill that is funded two-thirds on the backs of middle-class families who are seeing these deductions taken away from them and you know one-third you know on big deficit financing which also could make access to capital more expensive in the future things of that nature so I think what I would encourage my colleagues to do is go through a more fundamental process like was done in 86 and if people remember that bill came up just before that election and it was received very positively because because people knew that it had good bipartisan support and was really worked through and not rushed through. The notion that we just got language, I got on a plane on, Friday, uh, on Thursday evening, just the language was just then being released and now people expect me to start voting on mm. it today. So it's not a lot of time for us to talk to our constituents, to consider the consequences, to have the details, to have economists give comment on it and this is so important for us I think everybody here wants to see our economy grow we might have different views about what we think will best do that I come from an innovation state and so I want cheap access to capital and investment in infrastructure like housing so that people it can at Amazon or Boeing or Microsoft can have a good education and work and live there so you know our priorities uh, may seem a little different but I guarantee mm. you, if we have a thoughtful process we can get there but right now this is rush rush rush